Yeah. Free beer and hot wings in the morning. Grand Rapids rocks all day. 97.9 GRD rocks. 97.9 GRD rocks. The free beer and hot wings show. Some morning showers. I don't know if we're going to see those or if it's just going to be gray. Mostly cloudy as it goes on. 67 the high. It's probably raining. I don't like in Jenison right now, as I say well, that. Well, yeah, the, the, the thing is, when I uh, when I checked this town. morning, like uh, when I checked the radar before I left for work, I always go, "All right, should I wear a jacket? Is it going to be raining or whatever?" It looked like it was going to rain any second, mm-hmm. yeah. and then like it just kept evaporating over Grand Rapids, I mean, apparently. So because even now there's some along the you know coming in off the lake shore a little bit. I'm going to uh, go with this. It's not going to rain today. It's just going to be miserable and cloudy. Yeah. But tomorrow, ooh, lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Oh, wow. Lightning bolt. 67 and lightning bolts. <laughs> uh, that'll feel good on Friday when it's very humid and gross. Yeah. Uh, did you see Nestle uh, temporarily at least hits, hits a roadblock? I did. I thought. With uh, the Osceola Township Planning Commission. Well, they are trying to go from, uh, right now it's 400 gallons of water, or they were trying to get to 400 gallons of water per minute. Up from the current limit of 150 gallons Mm -hmm. per minute. Yeah, and it seems like um, the people who are supposed to do something about corporations raping, uh, you know, natural resources actually did something. Yeah. For now. If 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 it was oil, Mm -hmm. they wouldn't have to pay the community for the oil. They somehow... But they they should. I think or they, like wherever yeah. it comes from, like this is this is one of those things. Like I do, I, I mean, I believe in uh, democracy, capitalism. I believe in sure. that stuff. But when it comes to you, uh, a, a business that utilizes natural resources, mm-hmm. I always think to myself, why doesn't the state get into that a little of bit? Of course, yeah. You know, well, like they, like I mean, if it, it's our resource, yes, we pay a ton of taxes. The state's falling apart. We should be Nestle. Well, oil we, is yes. Oil is of course a little the bit. government would screw it up somehow. But they could at least char- uh, I mean, but, take but, a part of it, take but, a piece of their profits. But, but a, a company like that that is strictly using natural resources off of you know if it's state land or whatever, however that works, yeah, um, they should have to pay a higher percentage than another business that is just utilizing like footprint of land like yeah. for an auto plant of or course. any type yeah. of plant well and, that and it's just taking up space fine, and water but. is so different oil there's not like ordinary citizens are like well yeah i use uh, oil direct from the ground every day i have my own oil well that mm-hmm. I, I pump it out and i use it to feed my family yeah, yeah i and need it, it to it, live it, either they get it and they refine it and they do everything that i need to make it work uh-huh. or i don't have it yeah. so i'm okay with that you know public contract i do think that you know uh, but water, but, but, but water if they're getting is under enough, every one of right. every one of our plots of land. If you yeah. are a homeowner or mm-hmm. whatever, and we all use it, we can all get it. Yep. And so you're just it's just a for profit game with no well. But and water is something we need. Yes. I mean, you would argue a lot of people would argue we need oil, but technically you don't need oil. Not to, to live. Survive. I don't. Not to live. To live. Um, you know, you need air and water. And I'm not. And, the- you know, obviously some sort of food, but. Uh, you know, even with oil, if if an oil company says, oh, you own the land, they have to pay you. They can't yeah. just come into the middle of your yard and go, hey, we're taking it because right. we, we're Exxon. Right, Eat exactly. It. They have to they have to cover something. Yeah, I'm not saying they shouldn't. Manner. I'm not saying they shouldn't be able to do it. But by God, like you said, the, the state is falling apart. Yeah. So why don't you make it a fair deal for... The entire state yeah. for the people who live here. Now there, and again, of course, maybe, maybe that being said, for all I know, I, I don't know all the details. So maybe they have to, have, you know, like fifty percent of every bottle goes to the state. I don't think so. Yeah, well, I'm pretty uh, sure it doesn't. Obviously, but, uh, the the township and the community benefits from jobs, sure, and from tax base and everything else. I assume yeah. they're benefiting there, so that that would be the argument from. But you could argue that with literally every business in every town. Sure. Yeah. Helps the local tax base and stuff, but is it um, is that worth it though? I mean, is but when that, it's utilizing all of the natural it? resources, I mean that's that is literally our state's most important natural resource. Yeah, water. Yeah, that's what we have. <laughs> I mean, that's what Michigan has. We have fresh water. water. We have a good deal of sand too. Yes, uh, but water is the most important. Yeah. I'll and, give them my sand before I give them my water. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yes. I would too. Bottle all the sand you want. 
the company was hoping for a booster station to pump extra water from its White Pine Springs well, number 101, off Nine Mile Road, uh, near US 10 and Everett, so up in the mid part of the state, mid Michigan. The station is crucial yeah. for Nestle to boost the flow from its wellhead, which is about three miles northwest of the dock. So who knows? I'm not crying for Nestle. No. That's all I know. Uh, no. And you know this was going to be a better. I don't need to know all the details. It's going to be a better deal for Nestle than it would be for yeah. us. Here's yeah. Here's my only question. Whenever anybody wants to do anything in the state, um, how does it help the rest of us? <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. That's all. That I mean, ultimately, that's what I care about. Okay, if you let them do this, what do we get out of it? Yeah. What's I, What's in return? I didn't buy into Nestle when they first uh, when they had an IPO, so I don't really care. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it, and you are right. taking something that is everyone's. It belongs to all of us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, you know what? Time for us to go. <laughs> <laughs> that's a way to end it. Yeah. yeah. Natural. <laughs> nope. Well, it was. It certainly wasn't well thought out and pre-programmed. 97.9 GRD rocks.